bronchitis very bad, and I'm having fevers and chills. But I refuse not to leave out of here without doing due diligence in my responsibility to vote. And that's why they're moving everything up here. I don't know if I'm catching pneumonia or what, but I'm going to vote. I have to stay and vote. There is a process to budgets in the school system, in uh, local government, and county government. And that is, it must be submitted. You must submit first before you can discuss anything. You can talk about it, but submission is first. I just, I've said it a thousand times to everybody. We must vote for submission. You can't hold it up. You get fined if you hold it up. The state fines if you hold it up. You must vote for submission. After submission, I want the public to ask to see the budget. So if you see areas that you think that need to be cut and you are, are, are connected to some of these board members, tell them. Because we can't do it all by ourselves. Tell us what we think you need to go in this area. We think you need to go in this area. We can't do it all by ourselves. I am going to vote for it to be submitted so that we don't get fined, and then it's in your ballpark, and then it's back in ours. Any other speaker? I'd like you to move. To the chair, I just, Sorry, to, uh, I just want to clarify this. In February, I requested that we as a board and the administration look to speak with our bargaining units to seek a salary freeze for the 2011 and 2012 increments, which amounts to $11 million out of the $20 million shortfall. I requested it early in February. I discussed the same thing at our last meeting. So this isn't a show and tell. This is articulating publicly and clearly my submission. It takes time to develop a budget. This budget was not developed overnight. There were, we should have been doing due diligence as a board and as an administration to see ways to do things to keep from having to end up increasing in such dramatic proportions our classes. I will not, I will not, under any circumstances, vote for the submission of this budget. Thank you. Any other comments? I'd like to call the, the, roll, uh, call the, uh, the vote. Ms. Simmons, please call the roll. Mr. Connors? Now this is for um, to have acceptance, correct? No, no, no. we voted for I vote on just a minute. You're voting for the, uh, from 10.02 to 10.28 then. You can vote no on anyone you want, but just vote. I vote on. Ms. Lester? No. I'm not voting. Oh, no on 10.11, yes, and everything else. Ms. Sacron? No on 10.11. Thompson? Yes, I'm all. Mr. Valentin? Yes, I'm all. Mr. Waterman? I just need some clarity. Um, as far as uh, 15 and 16, just to make it clear to the public, this is to extend the hours. No, we are here. This is, this is in finance. Agent. This is to extend the hours of the election. So when we, okay, just want to make sure that we, the public knows what we're doing. Polls is here to extend the election from 7 uh, a.m. to 9 p.m. This is part of this finance package right here that we're voting yes on. To make it clear. To the chair, I have a question. Oh, wait a second. Are you finished, Mr. Warren? Oh, I'm doing my vote. Yeah. No, I mean, but are you finished commenting about that? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, our board members, we'd be remiss if we didn't mention this. This 10.15 is, uh, is to expand the uh, voting time. Mr. I didn't vote yet, but Angel had to say so. Well, you vote, then we'll get back to you. I'm voting on yes for from 10.02 I mean, to 10.10, yes from 10.12 to 10.28, and 10.11, um, no.
Because according to the resolutions, it, it says 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. That's correct. So I need 